1993 and 1998, more than 16,000 Yoruba women, children, and men were also murdered by the same Hausa Fulani over the annulment of June 12 election won by MK Wabiola. Then you ask yourself, why is it possible for Hausa Fulani to be just killing the Yoruba literally like that without the Yoruba having the ca capacity to defend themselves and their homeland? It's very simple. Because the Yoruba have allowed immigrant Fulani to take charge of the presidency of Nigeria since 1960. They took to control the National Assembly. The same Fulani control the judiciary. They control the Nigerian military, as well as all the intelligence agencies in Nigeria. But, for instance, I live in England. I am an immigrant. The English would never allow immigrants to be their head of state. The English would never allow immigrants to take charge of their parliament. The English would never allow immigrants to control their government. The English would never allow immigrants to, to take over the command and control of their military as well as all their intelligence agencies. I have a cousin who worked with the British Army. He has not been allowed to work within the submarine section because he's black. It is not racism. It is simply self-preservation. If you go across to North America, particularly the United States, the white in America will never allow immigrants to take charge of the U.S. government, to take charge of the U.S. military as well as intelligence agency, to take charge of the U.S. judiciary. But this is the major problem the Yoruba are facing. The Fulani are not indigenous to Nigeria. They are immigrants like Yoruba who are living in America. The Fulani in Nigeria are immigrants like the Yoruba who are living in England. Then ask yourself, why is it that the Yoruba who are immigrants in England are not the people in charge of the British Army, are not the people in charge of the British intelligence services? Now, that tells you something that the whites in America, the English in Britain, are not gullible like the Yoruba. The whites in America will never allow aliens to take charge of their government, to take charge of their military, to take charge of their intelligence agency. So this is the major problem the Yoruba are facing. We have allowed Hausa Fulani to control all our life. Like I said, I live in England as an immigrant. I am not attaining my full human potential. Likewise, so many other Yorubas who live in England, who live across Europe, who live in North America. But in Nigeria, the Yoruba are so gullible, they have allowed immigrant Fulani to take over the control of their life. Then, let me ask one fundamental question is this. Why do you think the Igbo governors denounce the activities of Namdi Kano? They did not betray the people of Igbo land. They denounced the activities of Namdi Kano on the instruction of Buhari of Fulani. Like I said, Fulani are immigrants in Nigeria. Because the Fulani are in control of the presidency of Nigeria, because the Fulani are in control of the National Assembly in Nigeria, because the Fulani are in control of the judiciary in Nigeria, because the Fulani are in control of the Nigerian military and Nigeria intelligence agency, Buhari simply threatened the Igbo governors that if they don't give up Namdi Kano, he's going to deal with massively with them. That was why the Hausa Fulani purchased military weapons from the U.S., from, um, uh, from Britain, from Russia, and using same to kill the Igbo people. Because the Yoruba have allowed immigrants to rule over them. And this is a major problem. Now let me tell you one fundamental thing. You know Governor Ajimobi? He was once an immigrant in the United States. Do you know what he was doing? He was washing cops, dead body, to survive. He couldn't attain his full human potential until he returns to Yoruba land. And he became what he became now, our governor in Oyo State. Fire Shea was once an immigrant in England. While he was living in London, he was working as a security guard. He was unable to attain his full human potential as an immigrant living in England. Today, he's our governor in Yoruba land. Because Yoruba land is his homeland. He can attain his full human potential living in Yoruba land. The former governor of Ekiti State, Governor Fayemi, was once living in England. While he was in England working in London, he was doing kabu kabu. He was just an ordinary taxi driver. Today, he became governor in Yoruba land because what? In Yoruba land, he's not an immigrant. So, 
Why do you expect Yoruba to be progressive when Fulani, who are immigrants, are ruling over the Yoruba nation? The Fulani immigrants control your presidency. You, as an immigrant who is living in America, try and control the presidency of America if what America will not kill you. You, as an immigrant Yoruba, living in England, try to be the head of state of England as an immigrant if the English people will not kill you. So this is the nonsense that we have allowed to go on for far too long. We have allowed Fulani who are immigrants. They are the only ethnic groups in Nigeria who are not indigenous to any space in Nigeria. So that is why Sultan of Shokoto of Fulani will open his mouth and say that we will never be restructuring. Because we have allowed immigrants to rule over us, Yoruba people. That is why the Emir of Kano will open his mouth and talk rubbish. Because we have allowed Fulani, who are immigrants in Nigeria, to rule over us. Because of this, we are having problems. Look at what is currently happening in Nibo land. The Fulani use revenue generated from Yoruba land. Revenue generated from Niger Delta Hall. They use this to purchase weapons from the United States. To purchase arms and ammunition from Britain. To purchase weapons from Russia. And they are now using the same to kill the Igbo. Now, Aousa Fulani gives you something to think that they are very strong. They are not. As long as they do not control the Nigerian military and the Nigerian intelligence agency, they are weak. But this is the means upon which they dictate to you. They control the state. What is state? We're talking about the police. Our Fulani control it. We're talking about the army. Fulani control it. We're talking about the judiciary. Fulani are controlling it. We're talking about the, na the, the National Assembly. Fulani are controlling it. We're talking about the presidency. Fulani are controlling it. Fulani are controlling everything. Even the others. Fulani are controlling them. So what I'm trying to tell you now is this. The Yoruba youth must think like white in America. We must think like English in Britain. We must put an end to immigrants controlling our life. Like I said, I live in England. I have not been able to attain my full human potential. I'm an investment banker. It is extremely difficult for me to attain my full human potential living in England. It is not racism, it is self-preservation. Because I'm unable to attain my full human potential like several hundred thousands of Yoruba who are living abroad. We want to change our homeland. And the only way we can change our homeland is to take Yoruba land out of Nigeria. Totally. So what the Igbo are doing is legitimate. The Igbo are saying they have had enough of Nigeria. They want to develop their homeland. They want to build international airports. They want to dredge their water so that they can have their port. They want to develop their human capital development. They want to build their whole nation. You cannot force a people to be part of your group or part of your country. No, it is not done anywhere. What the Fulani-led military are doing is to use the gullibility of the Yoruba to kill the Hebo. They did the same thing to us between 1963 and 1964. Because then there was nothing like social media. That is why what you have seen, the video of the Igbo you are currently seeing, you did not see that of 1963-1964 when 14,528 Yoruba were killed. Because there was nothing like social media in 1993 during the June 12 struggle. That is why you cannot see that 16,000 Yoruba were killed by the Awusa Fulani. Today, they are not killing the Igbo. But the Awusa Fulani are fearful. The Awusa Fulani are not powerful, but they are using the gullibility of the Yoruba to control the Nigerian army, to control all the intelligence agencies in Nigeria, so that they can use this means to kill people. So that you can use this means to suppress people. Now, I am giving you a challenge. You are Yoruba living in America. Why is it that you, as an immigrant, you are not in charge of the U.S. military? Why is it that Yoruba are not in charge of the U.S. intelligence agency? Why is it that Yoruba are not the one controlling the U.S. Congress? Why is that? Because the white Americans are not as gullible as the Yoruba youth. Now, I ask you and I challenge you, to those Yoruba who are living in England, can you be the head of state of England as an immigrant? As Yoruba immigrant living in England, can you control the British Parliament? Can you control their military? There are some sections in the British military 
that if you are not white, you cannot work in those sections. It is not racism. It is nothing other than self-preservation. So, folks, I'm asking the Euro about it. We have no option other than to use chemical weapon and biological weapon to defend Yoruba civilization. Do you know why it's simple? The Awusa Fulani have taken full control of the Nigeria military. They are in every intelligence agency across Nigeria. There is no where, there is no how we can defeat them without the use of chemical weapon and biological weapon. So what they have done to the Igbo people is wrong because you cannot force a people to be part of your group or part of your country. 